guys welcome to Ron and you are watching my channel front deck you are all welcome to my channel front deck in this video I am going to discuss the DDL, DML, DCL, TCL commands in the last video we have discussed how to create a tables using design view We have created the tables using the design view and the, by using the wizard. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss the how to create a table by using SQL commands that is structure query language. Most of the RDBMS do not contain the GUI that is graphical user interface. So we have to use the command we have to give the commands only that is a one there is a one language that is a SQL language Reynolds as SQL structure query language to make a table uh, to insert the records to do, select the rows in it from a table and sort the tables where and order by classes by using and updating the table and deleting the tables we will uh, we will use the structure query language a select statement reduces one or more rows from one or more tables or databases views select statement is commonly used data manipulation language command Select statement as many classes, where by class, order by class. Where by class specifies which row to retrieve, order by class specifies an order in which to return the rows. To retrieve all, all the columns in a table, syntax is select star from table name. It will display the all the columns of a table. Here select star from yes detail means student details. It will display the all the rows and columns of a student details. Next performing calculations. Before going to this uh, calculations, performing calculations, I will explain what is the DDL, what is DML commands, what are which commands are DDR, which commands are DML and which commands are TCL and uh, DCL I will explain through this PPT Data Definition Language and Data Manipulation Language Commands Create Table is a data definition language command in this structure of a table is affecting insert table is a data manipulation language command inserting a rows in a table it is a insert is a dml command data manipulation language command here the values are changing here the structure is changing in the, in the case of ddl data definition language the structure of the table will affect whereas in the case of data manipulation language the values of the table will affect select table it is a ddl command it retrieves the data from the table update table it is a dml command modify records in a table delete table it is a dml command delete the rows in a table drop table it is a dml command delete the table permanently we cannot get back the table once again we cannot hold back alter table it is a dml command it will add delete the columns it is data control language 
the command is grant command this command gives user to access a privilege to the database users can access or don't want to access you can restrict the user by using this command you can uh, give the access full access or if you want a few columns if you able to want to access the other users that is a data control language grant command and the other one is tcl transaction control language command is a commit and the second one is rollback and third one is save point and three commands are the transaction control language commands commit commits a transaction if you give the command commit then the transaction will be committed if you give the command rollback the transactions uh, will be rolled back if any error occurs save point set a save point within a transaction these are the transaction control language command and what are ddl commands ddl commands are create drop alter truncate rename commit comment are the ddl commands these six commands are ddl commands what are ddl commands you should know uh, remember create it will create a database or its objects like table in a database drop it is used to delete object from the database alter it is used to alter structure of the database truncate is uh, it is used to delete all the records in a table along the along with the data spaces allotted to them rename it is used to rename a, an object existing in the database comment it is used to give comment to the data dictionary these are the D ddl command and what are next uh, next slide is dml commands what are dml commands dml commands are select insert update and delete select will ret retrieve zero or more records from database if you want to re retrieve one or more more records from the database then we you will use the select statement insert the next dml command is insert insert will add data into the table and update command update updates the da data within a table if you want any if you want any update any values of a table in a row then you will use the update command it will update the table delete delete will delete some or all the rows from the table without affecting the data spaces it will not affect the memory spaces only it will delete the rows the structure of the table will remains create table syntax here the syntax of uh, for creating a table is create table table name open the brackets column 1 data type and uh, specify the length comma column 2 data type of the column and specify the length of the column like this column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 column 5 column 6 
and last close the brace semicolon is the syntax for the creation of a table for example here we are creating one table create table employee open the brace first name worker 80 here we are giving the column name and data type and uh, length of the data type data type is var car and maximum length is 80 we are specifying the length 80 uh, we are creating the name of the table employee first name we can give the maximum character up to 80 this is a syntax for creation of table by using SQL command and the next is uh, alter table how to alter table by using SQL command syntax alter table table name add column name data type this is a syntax example we are altering the table here alter table customer table name is a customer add we are adding column address where care 100 we are adding the address of an employee the address of an customer in the customer table we can give the length address up to 100 characters to delete to delete a table row or to delete a table alter table customer drop column email if you want to only drop one column of a table if you don't want to all the rows if you want to only drop one column that is email then you will use the alter table table name customer drop column email only email column will be deleted to modify alter table customer alter column customer id int if you want to modify customer uh, table then that is the modify command alter command to modify a column alter table table name alter column customer id integer like this you can alter the table or delete the table modify a table by using the sql command and the next slide is DML data manipulation language command insert data we can insert one or more rows from from a database the syntax is uh, insert into open the press table name column 1 comma column 2 comma column 3 like this then close the brace values open the brace give the values values 1 dot values 2 comma like this values 3 like this you can specify the columns insert into if for example if you want to insert an employee table insert into employee employees emp id name we have to give the double quotes emp id and the name and the, all the columns should be in the double quotes column values 
gmbid, gem, state, zip values here single quote or double quote you can give 124 is the MPID Musa is the name of the employee and the state is a, this one TS is a state a zip is a this number is a zip number semicolon like this you can insert the values into the table If you want to update updating the table from SQL commands update syntax update update table name set column 1 is equal to value value 1 comma column 2 is equal to value 2 and so on where condition semicolon is the syntax for example update in the employee table update employee set name is equal to danish where emp id is equal to 1 to 3 it will update the record if you want to delete the record table delete from table name where condition for example delete from employee where emp id is equal to 1 to 3 like this you can use the sql commands and uh, here if you uh, give the select star from yes details it will display the all the student details performing calculations simple calculation can be done using arithmetic operations for example to display salaries of all the employees after incrementing by 100 1000 then the following SQL commands will execute in the SQL based design select employee ID comma first name comma salary plus 1000 for an employee here we are giving the increment of 1000 salaries to the employees in the employee table to display the salaries of all the employees after dec decreasing by 10,000 then Following SQL commands will be executed in the VS SQL design, design view. Select employee ID, first name, salary, minus 10,000 from employee. It will reduce the salary of an employee by 10,000 rupees. To display salaries of all the employees after incrementing as it twice the amount of the present salary. Then the SQL command is select employee ID, first name, salary multiplied by 2 from employee, from table name. It will display the all the salary double. To display the half of the salary amount paid to the employees, then the following SQL commands will be executed in the base SQL design. Select employee ID, comma first name, comma salary divided by two from employee employee table. It will give the output half of the salary. And Grouping of data to display records containing the same type of values Where class can be used 
with the select SQL command. For example, select star from student details where color is equal to blue. It will display the records of the student where the color is blue. To view records of in ascending order of roll number, we will use this command. Select star from student details order by roll number. AC, AC is ascending. Next is updating the records in the table. Update statement is used to modify records in the database. The general syntax of the update statement is update table name, set column name is equal to value, column name is equal to value, and so on, where condition, last semicolon. For example, update the student details set location is equal to bhuvaneshwar where roll number is equal to 14. Here we are updating roll number 14 and the location is bhuvaneshwar. We are setting the location, location bhuvaneshwar roll number 14 students. Those who are having roll number 14, just say location of these st students will set to the Bhuvaneshwar. We will see all the practicals now, then we will come to the activity and the filling the blanks. Go to the file, new, in database. Open existing database. Click on finish. These are the tables in my database. And now we have created the tables using design view. We have created a table by using wizard and now we are going to create a table by using SQL command, structure query language command. Go to the tool. Select SQL. Here you have to write the command of creating a table. Here table class tenth roll number and primary key I'm giving the primary key for the roll number that is unique values to the roll number you can uh, give in the this command you can give in the small letter or capital letters doesn't matter name where car You can give the name worker, specify the characters, worker 50, marks, integer, comma, address, address worker. size 40 
then semicolon this is a syntax for creating a table create table table name roll number integer primary key we are giving the primary key for the roll number name where carry 50 marks integer address You can take one more column one. and then click on execute. here you can see the status I will zoom here in the status bar you can see the command executed successfully you can see the message if the SQL commands execute successfully I have created one table class 10 roll number int, int primary key I am giving the primary key for the roll number name where card 30 mars integer phone number integer address where card 20 ok this is the opening brace and this is the closing brace semicolon in the status bar you can see the command executed successfully Now close this window and you close this also if you want to see the table which we have created go to the window menu and close window then click on new database open existing finish you go to the tables you can see the class 10 is a table which we have created just now double click this is a table which we have created in SQL you can enter here but I want to enter the record by the SQL prompt only by using the SQL I want to insert the record or inserting record the command is insert into table name insert into table name values Roll number ten and the name name we have together double quotes name comma and uh, mars comma one number one number comma address
close up, closing dress, semicolon. And row inserted, command executed successfully, insert into table name values, roll number, comma name, comma mars, comma one number, comma address. In this way you can insert a row in a table, we will insert some more records. insert into table name like this you can enter some records insert into the table name values you can check this values by going into the table double click on the table name I have entered three records Now I want to enter some more records. <laughs> like this, I have entered some records. And then we will close this. And see the table. Class 10 table. These are the records I have entered now. We have created uh, a table class 10 and we have inserted some data in the table by SQL commands. Now I want to retrieve the data from the table from the SQL command by selecting select command. The syntax of the select command is select column 1, column 2. Select column 1, comma, column 2, comma, column 3, like that. From table name, semicolon. By the tools, go to the SQL. We will see the select command here. Select name comma Mars comma address from class ten is a table from the table class ten. I want to get the name Mars address. From the table name. Command executed successfully. Now the command successfully executed but the <coughs> result will not displayed here if you want to see the result then close this go to the here queries select queries and click on create query in SQL and now write the query here Select name comma marks comma address from class ten table. Now execute by pressing shortcut key F5 
or you can uh, run the query from here menus also click on this run query or shortcut key is press F5 now you can see the result name mars address from the table class then name mars address in this way you can see the result in the query design view the select statements you can see the now you can select name mars address as well as roll number and class 10 run the query now you can see the roll number also instead of instead of this so many columns name mars address and roll number simply type star select star from class 10 run the query you'll get the all the columns all the columns in the table star will display all the rows and all the fields in the table if you want to see the all the columns on the in the table all the records if you, if you want to see then select star star will display all the rows and columns if you want only one then you have to specify the only the column name that's all then you have to execute the run query like this if you want two columns then execute the query or run the query like this if you want three columns then you have to specify write the column names and run the query if you want to see the all the columns then you have to write the star select star from the table name now in the select statement if we give some conditions like uh, where then the record will display accordingly see the select statement select name roll number address from class table name where Mars greater than eight run the query now instead of uh, 80 I am giving 90 and I don't want address field select name roll number from class 10 where marks greater than 90 these are the names and roll numbers if you want to see the names of the you have to give the year You have to Mars if you want to see Mars greater than equal to 90. 
and the query then you can see the marks also if you want to select all the rows and then give the star from class and where marks greater than or equal to Okay, then uh, here you can now I want to see the less than less than or equal to Run the query. Select star from class 10 where marks less than equal to 70. Only two students are there. Now we have seen the marks greater than less than or equal to. Now we will see the one more query based on the address. Let us start from class 10 where address equal to. AP. It will throw us an error. We have to give the single code. Let's see first of all. Data type will not be loaded. Okay, so this is a string. You have to give the single quote or double, double quote. Now you can see the output. <coughs> if you want to TS, where the address is TS, if you want to see the records, and then run the query, you can see the address is TS. Select star from a class 10 where address is TS. Now see the select statement. Select star from the class table name class 10 where address is TS. You can go and marks greater than uh, equal to ninety. Now run the query. Now you can uh, don't do equal to greater than ninety. No need to records. If you specify greater than or equal to then it will display three records here like this you can give the conditions and uh, in the where class you can use the and operator select star from table name where address is this and mark is greater than or equal to 
warranty like that you can give the condition to retrieve the data here <coughs> select start from table less than where i does this ts and instead of and now i am giving r r marks greater than or equal to 90 run the query here i am giving the where class in the where class in the condition is address is equal to ts or else mars greater than or equal to 90 those students who are having greater than 90 marks or else those students who are, who are having the state TS will be displayed here now I want to display name and name and marks from class 10 you can see the name and marks no select name marks minus 10 or minus 20 from class 10 you can see the result select name comma marks minus 20 from the class 10 or you can Give the query like this Mars plus 10 from the class 10. If you want to select name Mars minus 30 from class 10. Now you can see the you can in this way you can do the operations on the Mars color and if you just star multiplied by two it will be multiplied by two. to divide by 2 then run the query like this the marks will be divided by 2 that is half of the marks In this way you can add the marks, subtract the mark, multiply the marks and divide the marks. You can do as much you can. The query has been changed. Do you want to save the changes? No. Only the tables which are created by SQL commands. This 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 table only I can execute the query. Suppose I want to select select from 
EMP now it will give us an error table not on table is there but I have not created the table in SQL command mode this table I have created in design mode so I cannot execute the SQL command table not found class 10 table I have created in the SQL mode command successfully executed like this you can if you want to execute the SQL statement you have to first you have to create the table here If you see if I if I want to execute the query in the EMP table, it will throw an error. The data content could not be loaded. Okay. Here I have to give the class tenth which I have created by SQL mode. Then only it will display the records. Now I can uh, do the where class here. Select star from the class tenth. Where it is is not equal to. Yes. Where address is not equal to not equal to this symbol is not equal to T S. So you can see the now address T S will not see here. T N if you want to display all the records from the class and where address is not equal to the TS if I say as the address is equal to TS then run the query only the address who is having the TS address the students of the record class then it will be displayed Now we will take one more select select distinct address from class ten. Run the query. D A N T I T A N C T is a spell mistake. Now you can see the distant address from the class ten. If you don't specify the distant. then run the query you can say ts ts it will be two times ts you can see here if you don't want to see the repeated addresses then you have to give the 
distinct Now see the select statement using the range Se select star from class then where marks greater than greater than equal to 80 and marks less than or equal to 99 run the query Select star from class and where mark greater than or equal to 80 and marks less than or equal to 99. In this way, you can give the range of values to retrieve the data. By using the AND operator, yes, in this result of the query. Now, I want to see the between operator. Select star from class and where marks marks between sixty and eighty. Select star from class and where marks between sixty and eighty. Execute the query. You can get the two records. Between sixty and ninety. Like this, you can use the between operator to get the record to fetch the records. Using the between operators, we have to get the data like this. We have to get the starting data and the maximum length, max the data, data value. Now we will see order by class order by class allows specific column on which result table is to be sorted first start from class 10 Order by order by name. So select star from class ten order by name. It will display the order alphabetically orderly. The name is sorted. You see now A A and then D. I like that. Alphabetically, it will start start out the names by using the order by the class.
now you want to sort uh, the data according to the Mars select start from the class and order by marks now you can see the result Whatever, 70, 80, 88, 89, 90. Like this, ascending order you will get by default. Order by Mars. The sorting of uh, Mars in the order by class is ascending order. Now you can get the condition here. Where where class you can specify where Mars is equal greater than or equal to ninety order by descending. The greater than or equal to 95 order will descend. Like this, you can uh, give the in the where class, you can specify the conditions also and you sort the data accordingly whether uh, descending or ascending. If you want ascending order, then no need to give the keyword DESC. Just execute the query, you will get the ascending marks. Now, the next command we will see is uh, update. How to update a record? Close this, they do you want to change? No change, okay. Okay, go to the tables, go to the class and now I want to update one record. I want to update the, this roll number 100 mark is 45. I want to update it to instead of 45, I want to update it to 75. this go to the tools menu click on SQL here we have to write the update command update table name that is class tenth set set is the keyword you have to type as it is mars mars equal to instead of 45 I want to give 75 where roll number Roll number is equal to 100. Semicolon. Execute. Command successfully executed. Now close this window and 
go to the table and see the hundred roll number hundred uh, updated to seventy five. Earlier it was uh, forty five. Now I have updated to seventy five. Like this, you can use the update command to update the records in a table. Now we'll see one more update of uh, the name. We can update the names also. We will update the roll number thirty name Anas to Anas Khan. Let's go to the SQL tools. SQL in the command prompt we have to write update. Last one set name equal to name equal to another common where roll number. equal to thirty execute the query update class ten set name Anas Khan where roll number, roll number is equal to thirty command successfully executed then close this window and see the table earlier it was honest now it updated to honest con like this you can update the now we will see the delete command delete command is used to delete the rows we will delete the 103 roll number 103 record. Go to the tools, go to the SQL and write the SQL command here. Delete from class 10 where Roll number is equal to 103. Execute the query. Command successfully executed. You can see. Delete from class 10 where roll number is equal to 103. Command successfully executed. Now you can check. 103 record is deleted where the table is there structure will be there only the record will be deleted if it's a drop then the all the tables all, all the structure of the table will be deleted now we will see one uh, more command that is alter command Here we will add one email id column. Plus this, go to the tools, go to the SQL prompt, SQL command window. Now you can enter the command. Alter command. Alter table. Plus. Plus one. And we are adding the column. Column email. Data type is where can C 
प्लस हो जाएगा लेंथ अगर का ट्वेंटी क्वेरी नो ऑल्टर टेबल टेबल नेम क्लास एंड एट कॉलम ईमेल डेटा डेबिस क्यार कमेंट एग्जीक्यूटेड सक्सेसफुली द क्लोजेस एंड क्लोज द विंडो नाउ ओपन द डेटा बेस वन सेकेंड ओपन है इसी से डेटा बेस क्लिक ऑन टेबल्स क्लिक ऑन क्लास टेन यू कैन सी ईमेल इन दिस वे वी कैन ऐड द कॉलम्स इन द टेबल द अंडर कमांड Now, if you want to get the email, write the email address. Go to the tools, SQL. You can execute the update command like this. Update class ten set email is equal to y, where roll number is equal to thirty. You can give the full email address. Command executed successfully. Now you can check. Like this, you can give the why. You can insert update the records. You can alter the records and you can update the records in a table. No, you. If you want to drop a column, go to the SQL command prompt. SQL command and type the alter alter table class ten drop. कॉलम ईमेल सेमी कॉलम कमांड एग्जीक्यूटेड सक्सेस कमांड सक्सेसफुली एग्जीक्यूटेड अल्टर टेबल क्लास एंड ड्रॉप कॉलम ईमेल मैं गेंद चेक दिस टेबल Email column is deleted. This is the delete command. Here, see now update delete order by where select insert create table. All this command we have seen. Let's move on to the document and see the activity and the filling the blanks. Question number one: Open the database created in the previous activity. Use the select query statement to query and sort on subject marks called as greater than fifty. Just now we have seen the sorting of uh, the query, sorting of the columns. Those who have got the percentage more than ninety percent, and those student who is having the class tenth percentage is more than ninety, and we have applied the between operator and operators. We have seen you can give the select subject marks greater than. Are equal to fifty from table name from the class ten. 
next one is create a database for collecting and maintaining a census data use querying displaying the data of people living in the specific area create a field for fields such as first name, last name, DOB, case of birth, employment status, etc. This I created one table of census. You can see the first name, last name, data birth, date of birth, place of birth, employment status. Like this, you have to prepare one database. The next is assessment. Fill in the blanks. A dash helps the user to systematically store information in the database. Database. management system DBMS helps the user to systematically store information in the database A dash enables the user to view and changes the data directly in the database subject such as tables that is forms Dash statement retrieves zero or more rows from one or more ta database tables or database views. Select statement. Select statement retrieves the more records, more one or more record for me database tables by default data is arranged in dash order in the order of a class by default is ascending ascending order the dash statement is used for modifying records in the database for modifying update update statement is used for modifying records in a database dash statement is used to remove one or more records in a database for removing delete Delete statement is used to remove one or more records in the database. Next short, short answer questions. Name DML commands. Insert update delete the DML command. Insert update and delete. Insert, update, and delete are DML commands. The purpose of uh, using queries is a query can give you an answer to simple questions. Perform calculations, combine data from different tables, add changes, or delete data from a database. We can retrieve the data 
based on our conditions. A query can give you an answer to simple questions. Perform calculations and combine data from different tables. This is the purpose of the query. Which class of select statement can helps to display specific data? If you want to select specific data, then we have to use where class. Where class we have to use. Differentiate between where and order by class in SQL. Where class specify the rows or relative. Order by class specify an order in which to return the rows. Where will where class will specify which rows to retrieve? Order class uh, specify an order in which the rows to be return the rows. What is the purpose of update command with the help of an example? Update command is a data manipulation language command which is used to edit the record of a table. It may be used to update a single row based on the conditions. All the rows are set of rows based on the conditions given by the user. It is a DML command. It is used to edit the records of a table. That's all about this uh, in this video. We have covered all the topics like uh, DDL DML commands, creating and inserting data, selecting data, and uh, where, where by order by class, and updating the table and deleting the table. That's all about in this video. In this video, we'll uh, stop here. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye. And practice well these SQL commands so that you will get a clear idea. Otherwise, if you didn't practice, you will not get a good idea on the database. How to create a tables and how to select the rows and how to update, how to insert rows, how to add in column how to retrieve the data by using where and order by class updating the table this you must have to be practice well practice once uh, so that you will be given an uh, idea brief idea of how the tables are created and how to insert and data into the table and how to modify data and how to fetch the records all this you have to practice once at least once ddl dml dcl tcl commands in the last video we have discussed how to create a tables using design view we have created the tables using the design view and by using the wizard Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss the how to create a table by using SQL commands that is structure query language. Most of the RDBMS do not contain the GUI that is graphical user interface. So we have to use the command, we have to give the commands only that is a one. There is a one language that is a SQL language known as SQL structure query language to make a table and to insert the records to select the rows in it from a table and sort the tables where and order by classes by using and updating the table and deleting the tables we will, uh, we will use the structured query language. A select statement retrieves one or more rows from one or more tables or databases views. 
select statement is commonly used data manipulation language command select statement as many classes where by class order by class where by class specifies which rows to retrieve order by class specifies an order in which to return the rows to retrieve all, all the columns in a table syntax is select star from table name it will display the all the columns of the table here select star from yes details means student details it will display the all the rows and columns of a student details next performing calculations before uh, going to this uh, calculations performing uh, calculations i will explain what is the ddl what is dml commands what are which commands are ddl which commands are dml and which commands are tcl and uh, dcl i will explain through this ppt data definition language and data manipulation language commands create table is a data definition language command in this structure of a table is affecting insert table is a data manipulation language command inserting a rows in a table it is a insert is a dml command data manipulation language command here the values are changing here the structure is changing in the in the case of ddl data definition language the structure of the table will affect whereas in the case of data manipulation language the values of the table will affect select table it is a ddl command it retrieves the data from the table update table it is a dml command modify records in a table delete table it is a dml command delete the rows in a table drop table it is a dml command delete the table permanently we cannot get back the table once again we cannot roll back alter table it is a dml command it will add delete the columns of a table here we have seen the data definition language and data manipulation language in the next slide we will see data control language and data transaction control language dcl that is data control language the command is grant command this command gives user to access a privilege to the database users can access or don't want to access you can restrict the user by using this command you can uh, give the access full access or if you want a few columns affectable to want to access the other users and that is a data control language grant command and the other one is tcl transaction control language command is a commit and the second one is rollback and third one is save point and the three commands are the transaction control language commands commit commits a transaction if you give the command commit then the transaction will be committed if you give the command roll back the transactions uh, will be roll back if any er error occurs save point set a save point within a transaction these are the transaction control language command 
and what are DDL commands? DDL commands are create, drop, alter, truncate, rename, commit. Comment are the DDL commands. These six commands are DDL commands. What are DDL commands? You should know. Uh, remember create it will create a database or its objects like table in a database drop it is used to delete object from the database alter it is used to alter structure of the database truncate is uh, it is used to delete all the records in a table along the along with the data spaces allotted to them rename it is used to rename a, an object existing in the database comment it is used to give comment to the data dictionary these are the D ddl command And what are next uh, next slide is DML commands. What are DML commands? DML commands are select, insert, update, and delete. Select will ret retrieve zero or more records from database. If you want to re retrieve one or more more records from the database, then we we will use the select statement. Insert next DML command is insert. Insert will add data into the table. And update command update updates the da data within a table. If you want any if you want any update any values of a table in a row, then you will use the update command it will update the table delete delete will delete some or all the rows from the table without affecting the data spaces it will not affect the memory spaces only it will delete the rows the structure of the table will remains create table syntax here the syntax of uh, for creating a table is create table table name open the brace column 1 data type and uh, specify the length comma column 2 data type of the column and specify the length of the column like this column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 column 5 column 6 and last close the brace semicolon is the syntax for the creation of a table for example here we are creating one table create table employee open the brace first name work are 80 here we are giving the column name and data type and uh, length of the data type data type is var card and maximum length is 80 we are specifying the length 80 uh, we are creating the name of the table employee first name we can give the maximum character up to 80 this is a syntax for creation of table by using sql command And the next is uh, alter table. How to alter table by using SQL command? Syntax alter table table name add column name data type. This is a syntax. And 
for example we are altering the table here alter table customer table name is a customer add we are adding column address we are care 100 we are adding the address of an employee we address of an customer in the customer table we can give, give the length address up to 100 characters to delete to delete a table row uh, to delete a table alter table customer drop column email if you want to only drop one column of a table if you don't want to hold the rows if you want to only drop one column that is email then you will use the alter table table name customer drop column email only email column will be deleted to modify alter table customer alter column customer id int if you want to modify customer uh, table then you have to use the modify command alter command to modify a column alter table table name alter column customer id integer like this you can alter the table or delete the table modify a table by using the sql command and the next slide is dml data manipulation language command insert data we can insert one or more rows from from a database the syntax is uh, insert into open the press table name column 1 comma column 2 comma column 3 like this then close the brace values open the brace give the values values 1 dot values 2 comma like this values 3 like this you can specify the columns insert into if for example if you want to insert an employee table insert into employee employees emp id name we have to give the double quotes emp id and the name and the, all the columns should be in the double quotes column values emp id comma name comma state comma zip values here single quote or double quote you can do 1 2 4 is the emp id musa is the name of the employee and the state is a this one ts is a state a zip is a this number is a zip number semicolon like this you can insert the values into the table if you want to update updating a table from SQL commands update syntax update update table name set column 1 is equal to value value 1 comma column 2 is equal to value 2 and so on where condition 
semicolon is the syntax for example update an employee table update employee set name is equal to danish where emp id is equal to 1 to 3 it will update the record you want to delete the record table delete from table name where condition for example delete from employee where emp id is equal to 1 to 3 like this you can use the SQL commands and uh, here if you uh, do the select star from yes details it will display the all the student details performing calculations Simple calculation can be done using arithmetic operations. For example, to display salaries of all the employees after incrementing by 100, 1000, then the following SQL commands will execute in the SQL based design. Select employee ID, comma first name, comma salary plus 1000 for an employee. Here we are giving the increment of 1000 salaries to the employees in the employee table. To display the salaries of all the employees after de decreasing by 10,000, then following SQL commands will be executed in the various SQL design view. Select employee ID, first name, salary, minus 10,000 from employee. It will reduce the salary of an employee by 10,000 rupees. To display salaries of all the employees after incrementing as it twice the amount of the present salary. Then the SQL command is select employee ID, first name, salary, multiplied by 2 from employee, from table name. It will display the all the salary double. To display the half of the salary amount paid to the employees, then the following SQL commands will be executed in the base SQL design. Select employee ID, comma, first name, comma, salary divided by 2 from employee, employee table. It will give the output half of the salary. And grouping of data to display records contain the same type of values where class can be used with the select SQL command for example select star from student details where color is equal to blue it will display the records of the student where the color is blue to view records of in ascending order of roll number we will use this command select star from student details order by roll number AC, AC is ascending and next is updating the records in the table update statement is used to modify records in a database, the general syntax of the update statement is update table name, set column name is equal to value, column name is equal to value, and so on, where condition, last semicolon. For example, update 
student details set location is equal to bhuvaneshwar where roll number is equal to 14 here we are updating roll number 14 and the location is bhuvaneshwar we are setting the location location bhuvaneshwar roll number 14 students those who are having roll number 14 just say location of these st students will set to the bhuvaneshwar we will see all the practicals now and then we will come to the activity and the fill in the blanks go to the file new in database open existing database click on finish these are the tables in my database and now we have created the tables using design view we have created a table by using wizard and now we are going to create a table by using sql command structure query language command go to the tools menu select sql Select SQL. Here you have to write the command of creating a table. Here table. Class tenth roll number int primary key. I am giving the primary key for the roll number that is unique values to the roll number you can uh, give in the this command you can give in the small letter or capital letters doesn't matter name where car you can give the name where car specify the characters Worker 50 marks integer comma address address worker size 40 in semicolon this is a syntax for creating a table create table table name roll number integer primary key we are giving the primary key for the roll number name where carry 50 marks integer address You can take one more column one and then click on execute. Here, 
you can see the status I will zoom here in the status bar you can see the command executed successfully you can see the message if the SQL command executed successfully I have created one table class 10 roll number int, int primary key I am giving the primary key for the roll number name wirecard 30 mars integer phone number integer address wirecard 20 ok this is the opening brace and this is the closing brace semicolon in the status bar you can see the command executed successfully Now close this window and you close this also. If you want to see the table which we have created, go to the window menu and close window. Then click on new database open existing database finish you go to the tables you can see the class 10 is a table which we have created just now double click this is a table which we have created in SQL you can enter here but I want to enter the record by the SQL prompt only. By using the SQL, I want to insert the record. For inserting the record, the command is insert into table name. Insert into table name values. Roll number ten and the name name we have together double quotes. name comma and uh, mars comma one number one number comma Address. Closure. Closing press semicolon. When row inserted, command executed successfully, insert into table name values, roll number, comma name, comma mars, comma one number, comma address. In this way you can insert a row in a table, we will insert some more records. Insert into table name. Like this, you can enter some records. Insert into the table name values. You can 
check this values by going into the table double click on the table name I have entered three records and now I want to enter some more records <coughs> like this I have entered some records and then we will close this and see the table class 10 table these are the records I have entered now we have created a, a table class 10 and we have inserted some data in the table by SQL commands now I want to retrieve the data from the table from the SQL command by selecting select command the syntax of the select command is select column 1 column 2 select column 1 comma column 2 comma column 3 like that from table name semicolon by the tools go to the SQL you will see the select command here Select name command, Mars command, address from class ten is a table from the table class ten. I want to get the name Mars address from the table name command executed successfully now the command successfully executed but the <coughs> result will not display here if you want to see the result then close this go to the your queries select queries and click on create query in SQL and now write the query here Select name comma marks comma address from class ten table. Now execute by pressing shortcut key F5, or you can uh, run the query from here menus also. Click on this run query or shortcut is press F5 now you can see the result name Mars address from the table class 10 name Mars address in this way you can see the result in the query design view the select statements you can see the Now you can select name or Mars address as well as a roll number and class 10. Run the query. Now you can see the roll number also.
instead of instead of this so many columns name or sentence and roll number simply type star select star from class 10 run the query you'll get the all the columns all the columns in the table star will display all the rows and all the fields in the table if you want to see the all the columns on the in the table all the records if you, if you want to see then select star star will display all the rows and columns if you want only one then you have to specify the only the column name that's all then you have to execute the run query like this if you want two columns then execute the query run the query like this if you want three columns then you have to specify write the column names and run the query if you want to see all the columns then you have to write the star select star from the table name now in the select statement if you do some conditions like uh, where then the record will display accordingly see the select statement select name roll number address from class table name where Mars greater than eight run the query Now instead of uh, 80 I am giving 90 and I don't want address field select name roll number from class 10 where marks greater than 90 these are the names and roll numbers if you want to see the names of the you have to give the year You have to Mars if you want to see Mars greater than and equal to 90. Run the query, then you can see the marks also. If you want to select all the rows. then give the star from class 10 where Mars greater than or equal to 95 okay then uh, Here you can now I want to see the less than less than or equal to seventy. Run the query. Select star from 
क्लास टेन वेर मार्क्स लेस दैन एक सेवेंटी मल्ल टू स्टूडेंट्स आर दें We have seen the Mars greater than, less than, or equal to. Now we will see the one more query based on the address. Let us start from class ten where address equal to. AP. It will throw us an error. We have to give the single quote. Let's see first of all. Data type could not be loaded. Okay, so this is a string. We have to give the single quote or double double quotes. Now you can see the output. <coughs> If you want to TS, where the address is TS, if you want to see the records, and then run the query, you can see the address is TS. Then let's start from here, class 10, where address is TS. Uh, see the select statement select start from the class table name class then where address is ts you can go and marks greater than uh, equal to 90 now run the query now you can uh, don't you equal to greater than 90 only two records if you specify greater than or equal to then it will display three records here like this you can give the conditions and uh, in the where class you can use the add operator select star from table name where address is this and mark is greater than or equal to 90 like that you can get the condition to retrieve the data here <coughs> select star from table last time where address is ts and instead of and now i am giving r r marks greater than or equal to 90 run the query here i am giving the where class in the where class in the condition is address is equal to ts or else marks greater than or equal to 90 Those students who are having greater than 90 marks, or else those students who are, who are having the state TS will be displayed here.
Now I want to display name and name and mars from class 10. You can say the name and mars. No, select name mars minus 10 or minus 20 from class 10. You can see the result. Select name comma mars minus 20 from the class 10. Or you can do the query like this. Mars plus 10 from the class 10. If you want to select name Mars minus 30 from class 10. Now you can see the you can in this way you can do the operations on the Mars column and if you get a st star multiplied by two it will be multiplied by two. want to divide by 2 and then run the query like this the mars will be divided by 2 that is half of the mars In this way you can add the marks, subtract the mark, multiply the marks and divide the marks. You can do as much you can. And the query has been changed. Do you want to save the changes? No. Only the tables which are created by SQL commands. This 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 table only I can execute the query. Suppose I want to select select star from EMP now it will give us an error table not found table is there but I have not created the table in SQL command mode this table I have created in design mode so I cannot execute the SQL command. Table not found. Class 10 table I have created in the SQL mode. Command successfully executed. Like this you can if you want to execute the SQL statement, you have to first you have to create the table here. You 
you can see if I if I want to execute the query in the EMP table, it will throw an error. The data content could not be loaded. Okay. Here I take the class tenth, which I have created by SQL mode. Then only it will display the records. Now I can uh, do the where class here. Select star from the class tenth. Where address is not equal to. Yes. Where address is not equal to not equal to this symbol is not equal to T S. So you can see the now address T S will not see here. T N if you want to display all the records from the class and where address is not equal to the ts if i say as address is equal to ts then run the query only the address who is having the ts address the students of the record class then it will be displayed Now we will take one more select select distinct address from class ten. Run the query. D A N T I T A N C T is a spell mistake. Now you can see the distant address from the class ten. If you don't specify the distant. Then run the query. You can see TS, TS, it will be two times TS. You can see here. If you don't want 
to see the repeated addresses then you have to see the distinct Now see the select statement using the range Se select star from class then where marks greater than greater than or equal to 80 and marks less than or equal to 99 run the query Select star from class and where mark greater than or equal to 80 and mark less than or equal to 99. In this way, you can give the range of values to retrieve the data. By using the AND operator, you have seen this result of the query. Now, I want to see the between operator. Select star from class and where marks marks between sixty and eighty. Select star from class and where marks between sixty and eighty. Execute the query. You can get the two records. Between sixteen and ninety. Like this, you can use the between operator to get the record to find the records. Using the between operators, we have to get the data like this. We have to get the starting data and the maximum length, max the data, data value. Now we will see order by class order by class allows specific column on which result table is to be sorted first start from class 10 Order by order by name. So select star from class ten order by name. It will display the order alphabetically orderly. The name is sorted. You see now A A and then D. I like that. Alphabetically, it will start start out the names by using the order by the class.
now if you want to sort uh, the data according to the Mars select star from the class and order by marks now you can see the result 45, 70, 80, 88, 89, 90 like this ascending order you will get the by default order by Mars the sorting of uh, Mars in the order by class is ascending order Now you can get the condition here where where class you can specify where Mars is equal greater than or equal to ninety order by descending. greater than or equal to 95 order by descending like this you can uh, give the in the where class you can specify the conditions also and you start the data accordingly whether as descending or ascending if you want ascending order then no need to give the keyword DESC just execute the query you will get the ascending marks now the next command we will see is update how to update a record close this do you want to change no change ok Okay, go to the tables, go to the class tent. Now I want to update one record. I want to update this roll number 100 mark is 45. I want to update it to instead of 45, I want to update it to 75. Close this, go to the tools menu, click on SQL, here we have to write the update command. Update. Table name that is class 10 
set set is the keyword you have to type as it is mars mars equal to instead of 45 i want to give 75 where roll number roll number is equal to 100 semicolon execute command successfully executed now close this window and go to the table and see the 100 roll number 100 I have updated to 75 earlier it was uh, 45 now I have updated to 75 like this you can use the update command to update the records in a table now we will see one more update of uh, the name we can update the names also we will update the roll number 30 name ns2 ns con let's go to the sql tools sql in the command prompt, we have to write update class 10 set name equal to name equal to unknown command where roll number equal to thirty execute the query update class 10 set name ns khan where roll, num roll number is equal to 30 command successfully executed then close this window and see the table earlier it was ns now it updated to ns khan Like this, you can update the. Now we will see the delete command. Delete command is used to delete the rows. We will delete the 103 roll number 103 record. Go to the tools, go to the SQL, and write the SQL command here delete from class 10 where roll number is equal to 103 execute the query command successfully executed you can see delete from class 10 where roll number is equal to 103 command successfully executed now you can check 103 record is deleted where the table is there structure will be there only the record will be deleted
if it is drop then the all the tables are all the structure of the table will be deleted now we will see one uh, more command that is alter command here we will add one email id column plus this go to your tools go to the sql prompt sql command window now you can enter the command alter command alter table plus plus the and we are adding the column column email data type is where can specify the length where can 20 execute the query now alter table table name class and add column email data database care command executed successfully and I close this and close the window now open the database once again open an existing database click on tables click on class 10 you can see email in this way we can add the columns in a table the under command Now if you want to give the email right with the email address go to the tools SQL you can execute the update command like this update class 10 set email is equal to y where roll number is equal to 30 you can give the full email address command executed successfully now you can check like this you can give the why you can insert update the records you can alter the records and you can update the records in a table now you if we want to drop a column go to the sql command prompt sql command and type the alter alter table class 10 drop column email semicolon command executed success command successfully executed alter table class and drop column email and again check this table email column is deleted this is the delete command you have seen update delete order by where select insert create table all this command we have seen
and let's move on to the document and see the activity and the fill in the blanks question number one open the database created in the previous activity use the select query statement to query and sort on subject marks code was greater than 50 just now we have seen the sorting of uh, the query sorting of the columns those who have got the percentage more than 90 percent and those students who are having the class 10 percentage is more than 90 and we have applied the between operator and operators we have seen you can give the select subject mass greater than or equal to 50 from table 9 from the class 10 the next one is create a database for collecting and maintaining a census data use querying displaying the data of people living in the specific area created a field for fields such as first name last name dob place of birth employment status etc this I have created one table of census you can see the first name, last name, date of birth, date of birth place of birth, employment status like this you have to prepare one database The next is assessment. Fill in the blanks. A dash helps the user to systematically store information in the database. Database. management system DBMS helps the user to systematically store information in the database a dash enables the user to view enter changes the data directly in the database subject such as tables that is forms Dash statement retrieves zero or more rows from one or more ta database tables or database views. Select statement. Select statement retrieves the more records, more one or more records for my database tables by default data is arranged in dash order in order of a class by default is ascending ascending order the dash statement is used for modifying records in the database are modifying update update statement is used for modifying records in a database dash statement is used to remove one or more records in a database for removing delete Delete statement is used to remove one or more records in the database. 
Next short, short answer questions. Name DML commands. Insert update delete the DML command. Insert update and delete. Insert update and delete are DML commands. The purpose of uh, using queries is a query can give you an answer to simple questions. Perform calculations, combine data from different tables, add changes or delete data from a database. We can retrieve the data based on our conditions. A query can give you an answer to simple questions. Perform calculations. And combine data from different tables. This is the purpose of the query. Which class of select statement can helps to display specific data? If you want to select specific data, then we have to use where class. where class we have to use. Differentiate between where and order by class in SQL. Where class specify the rows or retrieve. Order by class specify an order in which to return the rows. Where will where class will specify which rows to retrieve. Order class uh, specify an order in which the rows to be return the rows. What is the purpose of update command with the help of an example? Update command is a data manipulation language command which is used to edit the record of a table. It may be used to update a single row based on conditions. All the rows are set of rows based on the conditions given by the user. It is a DML command, it is used to edit the records of a table. That's all about this. Uh, in this video, we have covered all the topics like uh, DDL DML commands, creating and inserting data, selecting data, and uh, where, where by, order by class and updating the table and deleting the table. That's all about in this video. In this video, we'll stop here. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye. And practice well these SQL commands so that you will be get a clear idea. Otherwise, if you didn't practice, you will not get a good idea on the database. How to create a table sign how to select the rows and how to update, how to insert rows, how to add in column, how to retrieve the data by using where and order by class, updating the table. This you must have to be practice well. Practice once uh, so that you will be given an idea, brief idea of how the tables are created and how to insert and data into the table and how to modify data and how to fetch the records all this you have to practice once at least once ok we will meet you in the next video till then bye
Mazano Contact. Welcome to Contact. In this video, I am going to discuss session 4 Retrieve data using query. Database query, definition of query, query creation using wizard and by using design view. Editing a query, we will see in this video. We have created tables and enter data into the table. Now we wa I want to sub get the information from the table. Query is uh, in the database as the name suggests query is a collection of specific information from the pool of data. A query helps us to join information from different tables and filter that information. Filtering means that the query use users criteria you provide to hide some data if you want to a table contains number of rows and columns you want only some specific columns a specific rows only one or two records rows then you can give the query Suppose if in a table students you want to get the information about the only roll number having give the roll number from uh, 10 or 20 or 1 or 2 give the names of the students it will be displayed as only the two records if you want to details of all the students and all the fields and all the columns then you have to give the query star select star from and the table name in this uh, query creation using wizard how to create a query using wizards there are four objects in the database objects tables query forms reports the second object we are now discussing query by using wizards we will see first like this you will get the wizard we have to select the field names table will be displayed table customers and we have to select the field names by selecting this and click on next if you want to select only one then click on finish it will display only the selected fields C click on finish to then you will get the output like this here the two rows are selected one is data other one is airtel company name city email address We will see practically how the queries can say we are retrieving data using query using the wizards. Let's open the open office and select database and click on open existing database. So these are the tables <coughs> created earlier. Project.odb is a database. In that, these are the tables. Suppose if you select a student table or employee table, if a query is di display specific records from a table that meets certain criteria if you want to re retrieve 
one or two record or one or two fields then we will give the query to the database if you want to select the student table then you can click on the student table then this, this is the student table you can see the admission number, name, address, phone number, percentage if you want to see the primary key of this table right click and click on edit you can see the primary key is an admission number student admission number these are the four database subject tables, query, forms, reports now we are discussing query and now we will see in this video query creating design view and create query using wizard and one more method is there we will see in the next video that is SQL we will give the SQL commands and we will retrieve the data I click on use wizard to create a query in this you can first of all you have to select the table name there are different tables the e e EMBD, EBD, project, student I want to select student table in this student table the fields are admission number, name, address, phone, percentage I want to retrieve that uh, fields according to the percentage and click on this to select and click on the name and click on this field to select if you want more fields mean then then select and press on this button and now if you don't want it click on finish I want to see the percentage of the student and the name of the student in the table student click on finish now uh, click on next button it will go to the steps the, uh, the next step is sorting the next step is uh, searching the conditions details aliases like this it will it will take the steps all the steps and uh, start by using ascending or descending by default it, it is ascending order starting is done by ascending order only you can select the field here student percentage and then click on next here is the searching condition Searching condition is percentage, condition is, is equal to, is not equal to, is smaller than, is greater than, like this you can give, is greater than I will select, I will give the 70, I want to display the percentage greater than 70%. I will click on next here you can see the two things detail query or summary query I want to get the detail query show all the records of the query who have got 70% above then click on next you will get the aliases aliases is a 
another, another name for the field here I am selecting percentage and name if you want to you can you can change you can give another name for this percentage I am giving this name of student this will be displayed when the query is executed the alias name is displayed when the query is executed query next click on next then you will see the uh, overview of the query fields in the query percentage student and student comma percentage name of the student name of student dot percentage name of student student dot name sorting order ascending searching conditions uh, percentage is greater than 70 uh, then uh, how do you want to proceed after creating the query display query modify query I want to just display the query click on finish this is the output of the query Stud the student who got more than 70% in the subjects are displayed in the result I have given the criteria as more than 70% so you can see the 80 and 90 there are 4 students query result is percentage more than having 70% this is a query result and we will see one more table uh, use the wizard to create a query we will take one more table we have selected student table now now I want to select employee table and I want to display the all the fields ok start by ascending next uh, click on next alias as if you want to give another name for the it is uh, employee id employee name designation department id then you can give alias as then click on next F I don't want to give any aliases I want to print the same as it is then your overview of the query fields in the query employee id employee name designation department id click on finish the result of the query is printed displayed this is the query I select all the rows of a employee table and in the employee table I have selected all the rows all the columns in the student query I have selected I have given the criteria only those who have got above 70% I have given the criteria in this way we can get to the query using wizards now the second step is create query using design view we will see now you can select tables 
or you can select queries you select queries the queries which we have just now created those queries then you if you want to get the some sorting on it then you can select or else you can select table no i will select project table now click on add this is a project table you can increase the size if you click on fields if i select star all the fields will be selected now click on this uh, in the field you will get the all the fields of the project you want to display some specific record one or two columns or if you want to select all the columns i want to select all the columns so i select a star if you want to give the alias give the another name for for this table project summary you can give the any name for the alias that is the another name for the table now click on the table select the table project sort click on this sort you want to ascending or descending i want to select descending visible is yes is it will display all the query results if you want to apply some functions then you can select uh, and select the functions you can select the functions also if you want to apply applied in the query criteria if you want to give any criteria you can give or else leave it now you can see here you can select the field like this you have to select you click on this here you will see the one button you click on this button and you have to select the field field names here i have selected star all the field names this is optional alias is alias name is optional and you can select project name table name here in in my case project is a table name and click on next sorting ascending descending i have selected descending visibility yes now you have to run the query here is the run query our shortcut key is f5 here sort cannot be used for sort for criteria here you have to choose any one field suppose i want to select the project id and now the you we get the one uh, message that we cannot uh, select the star in the open office base just click on okay it will display or else you have to change this criteria instead of star you can select 
highly. The output of the result is displayed here. You can see the output. All the name in the project fields. Project ID, project name, roll number. Like this you can see the query in design mode. Suppose I, wa I want to change the field name only I want to select the instead of star I want to select the only project name and uh, one more is the uh, one more field project name and project ID I want to display this too then I have selected fields, two fields. One is project name, one is project ID. I don't want all the fields in the project table. Then click on run, run the query. You can see the only two columns. Suppose if I don't want two columns, if I want only the project name. I don't want this so you can select you can select the only project name then click on uh, run button Here, if you want to select the query, here I have selected now two fields. If if I want only one field, then the remove this field. Click on delete button, and uh, I want only project name. Okay, then now I want to display only the project name. Uh, run the query, remove this and click on this run button or F5 is the shortcut key now you can see the only project summary only one field if you want two field then you have to select this field then you have to select the fields if you want three fields you have to select three fields then you have to run the query like this you can see the results of a query now we have seen one table we will take one more this is a project table I want to see the now I want to select the EMB table employee table click on this and click on add I close this and we will give the query name query 1 ok we will select once again create query using design view click on this and select the employee is the table click on add now you have to enlarge this table now you can select the fields this is the table of 
employee employee id employee name designation department id i want to fill like uh, employee id Okay. If you want to go alias It is alias name or it, it, it is not required and table name is uh, employee sorting order ascending or descending you can select visible of the query yes if at all any functions you want to apply then you can apply if you want to give criteria then you have to give the criteria and select one more field employee id employee name i want to select and des designation i want to display in the query okay these are the these are the fields i have selected and click on run or shortcut key is f f5 it will display the query result employee id employee name designation suppose if i don't want any one column suppose i, would, I don't want designation column then click on delete this uh, column then click on run query once again then only two columns will be displayed Like this, you can give the query in the design view. It will ask the query name, query two. Okay, save on it. Then we have created two queries, query one, query two, in the design view. In the by using wizard, we have created two queries. You can select the queries and you can start these queries also if you want to apply some criteria on the queries then you have to select the query in this way you have we have seen in this video query by using design view query by using how to give the queries by using design view and the second method is by using wizard to create a query on the tables we have created previously that's all about in this session and we will meet in the next session next session is